What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Christina here. I just wanted to share with you a few of my favorite non-toxic sunscreens because it's summertime. I hope you're getting sunshine and vitamin D. It's so important for keeping you happy and healthy, but you also want to make sure that you're taking care of your skin and protecting it when you're out in the sun. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with my two very favorite ones, which are by Suntegrity. They're both tinted sunscreens and they're SPF 30, but there's a difference between the two and I'll explain that right now. So this one is called 5-in-1 Tinted SPF 30 Sunscreen Moisturizer. It has antioxidants, organic oils, reef-friendly, vegan, sheer coverage, dewy finish. So the 5-in-1 is a sunscreen that I would use underneath makeup. If you know you're going to wear a BB cream or a foundation, powder, whatever, this is great and very moisturizing to go underneath makeup. Now, if I don't want to wear makeup that day, but I still want a little bit of coverage, like a medium coverage, I'll wear the other Suntegrity sunscreen, which is called Impeccable Skin. It has peptides, vitamin C and E, also SPF 30, and it says medium coverage, satin finish, oil-free, vegan, antioxidants, aloe vera, blue light protection. So this one is oil-free. The five-in-one has organic oils, which is why it's more moisturizing. So with this one, I just make sure with the impeccable skin, I just have my moisturizer and then I put this on and I'm good to go for the whole day. I do not wear any other makeup over it and I'm set. But if I'm going out or I'm working, I will not wear this one because I'm gonna put makeup on over it. I will use the five in one. So they serve different purposes, but they're both so good and I love them so much. I wear these pretty much every day. For other occasions, I might wear one of the other ones I'm gonna show you, but I'm still looking for other clean sunscreens that I really love. So if you guys know of any, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm always looking for new, high quality, clean products that I am not aware of. This other one is not tinted. It's by Super Goop, it's SPF 40, and it's called Unseen Sunscreen. My girlfriend Jackie told me about this one, so shout out to Jackie. Thanks for showing me this about a year ago. I haven't used it that much. I've been through, well, I mean, I've been through a couple tubes of it, so I haven't noticed if it breaks me out or anything. I don't think it does. These Suntegrity ones do not break me out at all. This one says clean chemical sunscreen actives, reef safe, non-irritating, no synthetic fragrance, and vegan cruelty free. We love all of that. So this one works really well as a primer. If you know you're gonna wear makeup, you would put your moisturizer on, then you would put this on as your sunscreen and primer, and then you put your makeup on right over it. It's great, I just don't find myself using it as much as the other two that I showed you. I don't wanna say in last place, but I don't wear these very often at all, but they are an option for me, and I have worn them when I don't wanna wear anything makeup-like, and I know I'm not gonna wear makeup, so I'm not wearing a primer. Drunk Elephant, they're both 30 SPF and 20% zinc oxide. One is tinted, the one that has a bronze cap, and the blue cap is not tinted. You know. The tinted one, it's lighter. I would say it's lighter than Suntegrity, and I'll use it if I'm just gonna go out and get some sunshine real quick. Maybe I'm gonna go run errands or something and I want a little color on my face. I don't know, I don't wear this one that often. The blue one I will, it's, it has more of a white cast though, so that's if I'm just really gonna go get some sun and then come back inside and just wanna protect my skin. So these can be good if you're looking for something really light. But again, not my favorite, not the worst. I don't really have any other options that I can say that I like a lot that are clean. So that's why I'm hoping somebody out there <laughs> knows of some that I don't. And please leave them in the comment section below. I would so appreciate it. Also, I think I'm going to start posting more of my skincare videos finally because I did clear some really bad hormonal acne. You can go back and look at older videos that I posted when I was going through that struggle. I'm happy to report that my skin has stayed clear, you know, for the most part for about two years now. I want to show you what my current routine is like, what products I'm using, and all of that so I can help whoever might be going through some struggles with skin because I know how hard that is and I know how much it sucks, basically. I think a lot of it does have to do with stress and what you're putting on your skin, what you're putting in your body, your hormones. There's a lot that goes into it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a share. That will really help me. Or if you know someone that's looking for clean sunscreens, feel free to share it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting a lot more skin videos soon. 
and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Go out and get some sunshine, but don't forget to protect your skin. Love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.